This video is brought to you by our friends from Oakshield.com. More about them later on. Are you looking for a home or a mini office printer? Are you confused or not sure which one to buy? Sometimes too much information or so many options can be frustrating. So I agree with the quote, less is more. Look no further, I have done all of the research and came up to a conclusion that this budget HP 6020E smart printer is one of the best printer in this price range. No disclaimer, I'm not a professional printer tech, but to my research and demands, this printer fits within my $100 or £100 price range. This is marketed as everything a family would need printer, which can scan, print and photocopy at your fingertips. You will need to download HP Smart app in order to print from your smart devices such as smartphone or laptop. This nicely brings us to our sponsor, Oakshield. Oakshield products are medically rated blue light blockers and their products range from smartphone, iPad, MacBook, monitors, blue light glasses. Oakshield filters out blue lights without affecting your smartphone or laptop display. These glasses blocks blue light giving off from screens and also looks incredibly stylish. I would leave a link in the description should this fit into your bubbles. Make use of current season discounts. Right, so as soon as you open, you are greeted with your instruction manual. As I said, this is just a one, two, three step guide. You would also have your um, additional manual on safeties and ink. So the instant ink is actually really smart. Um, HP as soon as uh, ends with. So uh, if you're working for a big companies, you know that um, the the printers do have their smart IDs where as soon as the printer is running low, you will see a ink received for, through the post. And this is uh, the cable that will take you to your plug. So that's about it. So there's nothing else inside here other than the printer itself. So I'm just gonna put this onto the table um, so that way I can take out as smooth as possible without damaging the printer and throwing off my overhead camera. And you can see it's quite big and slightly quite heavy as well. I don't know if that's a good thing, but for sure this is not a portable printer. This printer is basically quite nice actually. It's well made. Okay, so let's go and dress this and I'm gonna fast forward this part here where I'm just taking off the tape and dressing the HP printer. Um, so let's do that. So in order for you to enter the ink, all you have to do is lift. So you just need to open the, the scanner and then lift up the printer from the side. So that way you will see the ink cartridge will move to installation mode. And then you just need to open your ink and then insert it inside. So in order to put it in, you just need to push it down and then clip will pull it in itself like that. So once it's in, you just need to close the lid and then it does some sort of adjustment. So you can see the printer is making some sort of a adjustment itself. Right, so what you need to do now is in order to set up, you need to go to, depending on what phone you use, you just need to go to App Store if you're using an iPhone and download the HP Smart app. So basically this app will help you print everything from your smartphone with ease, instead of printing things from your laptop or from other devices. You can set up with multiple devices. So if you do have a laptop or any other iPhone or any other Android phones, you can set it up. So the app is quite very easy to use. Obviously you need to agree with the terms and conditions once you've agreed with the terms and condition you just need to accept yes at the beginning it felt a little bit slow because i'm new on this app so i'm just going to set it up and then fast forward the set up the process and then it's asking me do you want to accept your location and etc it recognized my printer which is the 6000 series although it's called 6020 but that's the series and what it does is that basically it uses your wi-fi network in order for you to connect your smartphone to your printer so now it's just basically connecting my Wi-Fi, my phone, and my printer together. So I'm gonna fast forward here. It has accepted my printer and is asking me to press the I button, but obviously I can't press the I button because I've not fed this with paper and anything. So I'm gonna pop down and grab a piece of paper and feed it in 
and then I will go ahead and press the I button. So I went ahead and fed some papers underneath the printer and pressed the I information button and it's basically connecting to the printer. So we're going to go ahead and continue and the setup process is complete at this stage. What the printer is doing now is, is looking at the pages alignment. So it's printing alignment, it's printing a lot of information such as lines and some information just so that way you can see the alignment is all straight. This stage because it's printing some sort of alignment and that's why it's a little extra slow but if you're printing something simple as any other pages it may be a lot faster so i'm going to demonstrate so this is the alignment that's printed uh, so many page um, straight lines and some blocks so that way you can see the alignment is straight this is how it looks like the quality you can see the lines are quite straight and the app is still printing the alignment now the app is telling me to scan this particular paper so that way it can do this scanning alignment is as well so in order to do that you just need to press the scan button there on which we're going to go ahead and scan this in so we'll just press the scan button and it's doing the scanning again so it's doing the scanning alignment with the same page that we've just printed so it's slightly slow depending on um, how many items that it has this is the setup process and it's expected and then it will be a lot faster so the setup um, process is all complete now I can do whatever I want from my device I can also add another device if I want to so I am not going to do that for now I'm going to skip that part and this is the welcome from the HP to me this looks good so now the HP app is all set up what we need to do now is basically test it out and see if we can print anything so I'm going to print this for my kids and so that way they can play with the coloring and everything so before you print you can preview this is how it looks like before you print this is just, it shows you that it's one page and you can you need to select what printer you're printing from you may have so many printers in your list but that's the current one I'm going to leave it as default and I'm not going to print in color because there's no need of me printing that in color so I'm just going to print in black and white and then I'm going to have the kids to color it in so I'm going to turn the black and white on and turn it off the double sided but this is only one page so obviously it's not going to print double sided so I went ahead and print that and it's currently printing and it should be a lot faster than the setup itself so it showed me the white line and you can see that it's a lot faster there you go so this is the first page that we are currently printing on this HP 6020E and this is the quality itself you can see the quality is decent it's not the best I've seen better from the writing you can see here from the coloring pages and you can see all of the numbers and everything is quite clear and this is decent enough for a, a printer that you can use at home at this price range and the reasons why I went ahead with this pr particular printer is because of the brand itself I'm quite familiar with HP instead of um, Canon or Epson and um, Epson was also so another printer that I thought it was a good challenge but this printer was the definitely one of the, the reasons that why I wanted to go ahead with HP they have so many different series and I went ahead with this one because it was below £100 which was my budget so I've basically limited myself to £100 and I didn't want to go ahead so what we're going to do now is print an actual file instead of just printing coloring which is uh, engineering drawing design this is some drawing so this is called 2d drawing engineering design and you can see the quality it's mint and that printed quite fast as well so if you remember the setup process was a lot slower so you can see that this is the quality that you would expect and that looks quite decent to me and you can read it and you can understand it everything there you go the writing on the right is a little bit too small for you to see but the quality is pretty decent there you go i'm just going to leave it there for the camera to focus you see everything is quite clear so while i recommend this home office family printer let's measure pros and cons pros are nice and a simple design it's also affordable it includes free six months of instant ink it has a dedicated HP Smart app. It prints, copies, and scans in color. And plus it has a auto two-sided print option. Finally, it also has an optional monthly subscription. This could be classed as pro or con. So the negatives are on this printer, it's slow printing in my opinion, but it is usable. No cable to connect to PC provided. You cannot scan or print without Wi-Fi. You can only photocopy without Wi-Fi. If you can withstand without these three cons, then absolutely this is a printer to go for. 
But if any of these three negatives are one of your priority, then this is something that you'll need to consider before purchasing. In short, yes, I would recommend based on the price and these pros. Well, you've just made it to the end of today's video. If you did find this video useful, do hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you're new here. If you didn't like it for any reason, hit the dislike button twice just to be sure. Till next time, peace out.